Hey everybody, it's Zach. As you can tell, I'm still sick, but this video is going to make you feel fierce and look fierce. You are going to feel so much better still being sick. And I'm just going to give you some tips. As you can see, my throat still hurts, but I did my hair, I did my makeup, I took a shower, and I feel so much better. So I'm going to give you guys some tips on how to feel better. I hope you like my new background. It will actually be a houndstooth fabric. This is a houndstooth bathrobe, but it kind of goes with my sick vibe today. But um, if you like this houndstooth idea, comment down below and tell me. So if you want to uh, see how to look better and feel better, keep All on right, watching. guys. So the first thing I'm going to talk about, if you're having a sick day, get up, brush your teeth, and floss. It's going to automatically make you feel better because, honestly, um, I know I have, like, a sick voice, but I feel good. So, um, But honestly, if you just brush your teeth, it gets rid of bad breath, bacteria, um... Did I say bad breath? No, bad breath, bacteria, um, plaque, you know, brushing your teeth is good. But, like, seriously, when you're sick, it makes you feel so much better. Um, I use a Tom's Organic toothpaste because I'm kind of, like, against Crest. Um, even though I used to use Crest whitening strips because my teeth are, like, super yellow. But um, you should also get a small-headed toothbrush um, if you're a kid or a teenager because... Um, I had an issue where I was like brushing my teeth with a big one just going back and forth but with a small one you can like really just get in there and so yeah that's just a suggestion and floss so I do use Crest floss but this is um, glide on deep cleaning cool mint floss so yeah so this will automatically make you feel better um, get you ready for the day just seriously doing that simple thing I promise you will make you feel better on your sick day next thing Wash your hands. Everybody is going to tell you to wash your hands, but this one is my favorite hand cleaning soap. I like Mrs. Meyers because it's more organic and natural than the other soaps. And um, it's uh, aroma th aromatherapy. Got it. So it's aromatherapeutic, and it's a hand and body care soap. And it's made with whole oranges, cloves, and it's like this warm, spicy kind of like pumpkin pie Thanksgiving smell, but they have it in lemon, lime, raspberry, like all these different smells. You can get it at Whole Foods. Um, sometimes even Target has it. But later in the video, I'm going to pause it and go to CVS because I need to get a few things and show you guys like some acne care tips because I've had like really bad acne, but I still did my makeup today. So if you want a tutorial on this, this is like my go-to here. If I can turn this light on. This is like my go-to um, makeup for like acne. Um, or for a sick day. So I don't do any makeup on my forehead, but I try and cover it with my hair. Oh, funny story. I was flat ironing my hair today, and I got <laughs> burned kind of bad. I felt like that girl from that Burn Eat Her Hair Off video. I'm like, I'm going to be on Ellen. No, but um, yeah, so I was <laughs> flat ironing my hair, and all the smoke was coming off, and I was like really scared. Do not get the Sultra Baroque Wicked Baroque flat iron. It's gold. Okay, just hold. This little devil, like, heats up to 450 degrees. I'm just doing a little rant here, okay? This little devil hits, heats up to 450 degrees in like two freaking seconds. Look at my hand. That hurt. Oh my gosh. It's still hot. <laughs> it, like, burn my hair. Don't get this. I got it with my Ipsy Glam bag, but it wasn't a good idea. So I'm just... No. No. Okay, the next thing are candles. Candles are really um, aromatherapeutic as well, and they just... I get all of my stuff at Bath & Body Works. I know they're made with bad chemicals and everything, but guys, they smell so good. This one is... is this White Barn? Oh, Frosted Gingerbread. I still keep it even though it's like spring now. But I've never like... I never burn my candles. I have this weird fetish with like burning them. Um, and I kind of do the same thing as Diva Darlene Chic, where I take, like, bobby pins and, like, scratch in the wax, because it's just, like, amusing for me. Like, with this one, I've done that. But, um, so I, my three favorite candles to kind of burn when I'm sick are Frosted, uh, Frosted Gingerbread. Yeah, that just makes me, it smells, like, literally like a gingerbread house, and it's, it just makes me feel good. And then, um, Bonfire Maple, maple Wood. I love this one too. And this is the wrong one. Okay, I have one. It's not here, but it's like 
Okay, this Hold is on. the one I was talking about. It is Frosted Cranberry. This is one of my favorites for sure. It smells so, 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 so good. I like am addicted to it. Oh my god. It just smells so good. I can't even describe it. It doesn't really... It smells like cranberries. I wouldn't say frosted. But it smells really good. Okay, third tip. This is going to sound really weird, but perfume, you guys. Like, I'm going to spray some Fame on right now. Pause up. Um, Fame is my favorite perfume, but also, if I've told you guys, like, Dolce Gabbana Light Blue. It's really good. Um, those are the only two I have currently. Oh, Viva La Juicy. I have a little sample of that <laughs> that I really like. And, um... Just spraying perfume. I know it sounds weird when you're sick, but it really will just kind of like brighten up your day, make you smell good. Um, yeah, <laughs> sorry. I'm like, bloopers. Um, okay, let me. Sorry, the phone was ringing. Let me just talk about Derma Blend for a second. This video is gonna take me so much editing. Sad face. Um, let me just talk about Derma Blend because like, Derma Blend so amazing for when you're sick like I should do before and after because like I had dark circles up the wazoo and they were just like so oh my gosh this is like the most pigmented full coverage um this is the leg and body cover because I'm like ghetto like that need to buy the actual foundation but I use this as a concealer um I mean come on it goes on your legs and bodies I'm sure it's fine on your face but um it smells good. It's such full coverage. I'm in the color natural. Um, so it covers tattoos, stretch marks, varicose and spider veins, bruises, birthmarks, scarring. Um, it's lightweight and it's like creamy, but it still is so full coverage. Like I really, really recommend getting this, especially if you're sick. Um, and then one last thing I was going to talk about before I go to CVS is this rose water. It's incredible. I don't know if I've talked about this before, but like, just spraying it on after, it smells so good. It smells like roses, but, um, because it's from roses, but just spraying it on after you do your makeup, like, it makes it, like, no powder at all. Like, it's so cool. So, it's kind of like Fix Plus because I know rose water is in the Fix Plus at MAC. I think it's like rose water and glycerin or something. Some other like vitamins and stuff. But I am too ghetto to go buy that. I mean, it's like 21 bucks for that. Stay. 21 bucks for that little, little bottle. I mean, it's not that little, but it's like, come on. Rose water is still pretty expensive though. You can buy it at Whole Foods. Um, I just like it. <laughs> but um, yeah, you can get it at Whole Foods. And I believe it's like 17 bucks, so maybe it is worth buying Face Plus, but whatever. And I'll be back from CVS. All right, everybody, so I'm back from CVS, and I'm going to show you just a few things I picked up. Um, my voice got a little bit worse, but that's okay. Um, and some of my makeup was coming off, so I apologize. But the first thing I got is just hand sanitizer with aloe because, let me tell you, girl, when you're sick, you need a lot of hand sanitizer. So I keep this in two places in my room so I can just go, like, before I get out, put it on by my door and in my bathroom. So that's really smart to do. Next thing are these clean and clear oil-absorbing sheets. They're like blotting wipes, basically. And they have this cool little thing where they're, like, sticky... So you just push, and one gets out for you. So they're like light blue, they're really stretchy, they're kind of weird looking. <laughs> but um, you just basically put them on your face, and they don't mess up your makeup actually. Although I d wouldn't recommend it putting on the eye area. I don't have that much oil right now, but it'll get it like more see-through like that little spot but so yeah I think those are just a good thing to have I also got these Bior deep cleansing pore strips because these were on sale and um, I know you can make homemade pore strips but I just like the real thing so kind of weird like that and the last thing I got was this acne foaming face wash with benzoyl peroxide did I say that right 
it's for your face, chest, and back. I don't have them on my chest or back, just on my uh, forehead. But I just wanted to try this out. And if you guys want to review on any of these products, I will gladly do it in more detail. So thank you guys so much. Whoa, my voice just cracked. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And I really appreciate um, all of my subscribers. I got like four more overnight. Now I'm up to 36. So I really, really appreciate it. And growing. And growing views. And I just never imagined that this channel would be getting so big in such a short amount of time. So I really appreciate it. And I love you all. Okay, so until next time, which might be a couple days. Talk to you guys later. Bye.